Hello everybody, my name is Ella and welcome to my YouTube channel, Curly Hair and Daisies. I hope at this time you're all keeping very safe and well. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my Delphonics utility pouch and this is the small size. I know that they do an even smaller size than this now. They have the uh, medium, small and I think the other one I'm assuming is just called the extra small. Um, and this is this like really nice denim colour and it has an orange interior and I really really love this size. I did used to have the medium size, I had a black and white striped one and I really loved it but I just wasn't using it. I was using this one a lot lot more because um, it's the perfect size to kind of carry around with you and when I stay at my boyfriend's this is the size that is just more convenient and also for like, if you're traveling, if you're going on holiday and things like that. So um, I did get rid of the medium one and also if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen that for one of my Christmas presents my mum had a um, kind of like a craft bag made for me and it's absolutely beautiful and I really love it and it's quite big so I just really didn't need the medium one so I used this one and the big kind of craft bag which will like I said you will have seen if you follow me on Instagram so yeah this is um, the one that I use um, every day and uh, I have some pins at the front as you can see this is um, one from Amsterdam that I got last year when I went and it's really lovely it was from one of the um, kind of gift shops that they have there and this is one of my favorite pins ever if you didn't know this I do actually collect enamel pins I have a huge Harry Potter enamel pin collection and also some Disney ones and this is from an Etsy seller called Bunny Hop House and the lady that runs it is called Heaven and she is so lovely and I just think this is one of the cutest pins in the whole wide world. It's a little bunny rabbit and I bought it in memory of um, my rabbit Poppy that died last year. So I will open this up and I will show you the front pockets first. So as you can see peeking through I have this date stamp which I use all the time for my journals. At the front here I also have a little washi sample card this is actually like um, a paint sample one that you can get I think I got it from like the B&Q or something like that and just put washi tape there and that just sticks in the front there um, and I think that's it sometimes I put one of my fountain pens here but generally I have started to keep my fountain pens in this pouch um, let's see what I've got here so I've got a little pencil sharpener although I don't really ever use pencils but it's always handy to have one and you can see right through the middle there I have washi tapes so I keep a selection of washi tapes in here and to keep them all tidy I tend to put them through the um, glue stick like that and um, I tend to just keep a variety of different ones so that if I'm out and about or if I'm away from home that I've got a good selection and as you saw I have the glue stick here I have my ink pad and this is the, I've put little scraps of washi tape all over this. I probably should tidy that up because it looks very messy. But this is by Ranger and it's an archival ink pad. I've kind of got this thing where I I just like things to be archival. Um, so if possible I like to use archival ink uh, for my fountain pen and also archival stamping ink as well. And I got this from Hobbycraft. Um, I can't remember how much it was, maybe like six or eight pounds. In here I also have a clear ac acrylic um, stamping block. I'm not sure where I got this from, but I do like to use clear stamps as well as wooden ones, so it's handy for me to carry one of these around. And if I'm travelling, I tend to carry the clear stamps rather than the wooden ones, just because they are more portable. And in here... I have my miniature alphabet stamps. These are both from Hobbycraft and as you can see they are very used. I am quite mucky with um, <laughs> with my stamps. Um, as you can see they are quite filthy but I use them all the time and I really love them. They are actually by Dovecraft you can see there but I bought them from Hobbycraft and I think they're like one or two pounds each and I really like the font of both of these. I do use this one the most, this is definitely my favourite but it's nice to have a variety and they fit in there really nicely. I also like to keep these sticker packs in there. These are butterfly ones and these are some Sailor Moon ones and she's got like different expressions. If 
you can see there they're just fun to have nice and handy also inside here i have these oh my gosh the name of them has gone out of my head what are they called bulldog clips so yeah i've got a couple of bulldog clips these are just smallish sized ones and inside here you might be able to see there are pockets this one is a big velcro one and then there's two <coughs> excuse me there are two smaller ones uh, have i got anything in here yes okay so i have a rubber that i keep there again i don't really use pencils much but it's always handy to have a rubber and a pencil sharpener because somebody always wants them and these are just like little scrap pieces of cardstock that I can use. That's everything packed away nice and neatly. Again, you can see how well everything fits. And there is still plenty of room in there for more things, but I like to keep it quite compact. And on the back here, you can see there are more pockets. There is one here, a smaller one here, and a big one here that has Velcro. I have a little bulldog clip here and I've just got this little apple pig leather tag in there for some reason that I keep in that little one. And that is it for my little Delphonics pouch. Um, this here is a Leather Satchel Co um, key ring that, was, um, that came with my Leather Satchel and it's in the same colour as my Leather Satchel and I just thought it looked quite nice on there. And obviously it's easier to just use that than keep pulling the zip along as well. I have my fountain pens in here and this is actually for makeup uh, brushes. My mum gave it to me but obviously I've been using it for this and it's cool because it's, it's got a pouch at the back here that just clips with this popper. There's a zip there and then that's where I store my fountain pens. So I have these three Twisby Ecos, the yellow, the green and the clear. And then obviously you can see that pen there which is a Pilot Pure Liquid Ink. There we go. 0 0.7 nib. And I like that it's clear because I can just easily see which one is which. I think I showed you this in my last video but it's my most recent little pouch that I've bought and I bought it from a Facebook group, somebody was getting rid of it and I've put this little bow on there and I think it looks really lovely and in here, I'll just show you quickly, I keep um, stamps, stickers, more stickers and like scrap pieces of paper for journaling some pretty papers from cute things from Japan my new little mini memo pad Oops. more stamps another little pouch which has more stamps inside more stamps these are butterfly themed ones some Pipstick stickers and they're really cute bunny stickers I bought from Cute Things in Japan. Cute Things from Japan, sorry. Um, and there's some twine in there as well. I'm really enjoying organising all my little journal bits and, bits and pieces and journal supplies in these smaller pouches. I think it's really convenient and it just keeps everything relatively all in one place. And that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Just before filming this, I actually finished this little journal. This is the passport size. I just thought I'd quickly show that before I wrapped up. Um, and as you can see, look how chunky it is. This is a junk journal one that I made using different papers, including some uh, Midori Travels notebook page, uh, papers. And I just love how it looks. And I'm so excited to start a new journal. It's always such a great feeling of uh, doing that, finishing a journal and starting a new one. I hope you're all doing really well. I know it's a really difficult time at the moment. It's a scary time that we are living in. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.